All right, hello folks. And we're about ready to start uh, jumping on South America now. Uh, and we're almost finished for North America. There's one city left. I destroyed that city that was kind of in the, I don't know, maybe Omaha, Lincoln, Nebraska type territory. Because I wanted to move it a little bit closer to the Rockies where there's all kinds of great resource squares. Uh, so I did. Yeah, so I did. Well, that was pretty quick. Uh, but anyway, yeah, let's build the jail. That'll help all the war weariness. By throwing them in the clink! But, uh, yeah, I think I'll just build wealth. And so he's, I feel like I have too many troops at this point. Again, it's just getting kind of... It's kind of getting to be overkill at this point. Okay. No, no, I'll dispatch him and have him fix the darn whatever. Okay, here we go. Get in the boat, boys. Let's see. I know we could fit one more person had I uh, upgraded the uh, the uh, ships there. All right, hey, let's see if we can have any bombers come in on that one. Because I feel like we can. Um, and let's see if anybody else, can you make it there once or no, no way, no way. All right, that's fine, that's fine. Um, let's just hold on you for a little bit. Here we go. Well, actually, the bomber's not gonna be able to do anything this turn, but at least we can get them over in the right theater of battle. The theater, as they say in a bunch of languages. And I think, yeah, we've got this one here, so at least we can come in with an initial strike here. And he does do collateral as well, which is probably not the right way to put that kind of damage, because collateral damage is unwanted damage, whereas in this case, it's making it sound like it's a good thing. <clears throat> there we go. And now we own Cuba. Uh, which, eh, it's okay. I mean, it's really not my cup of tea uh, to own, but uh, we do own it now, which is kind of cool. And then we are just gonna start secreting uh, troops into South America. Uh, let's see. How many cities you got? You got one there? We got the Malinese. We got the Egyptians, who I probably won't screw with. Have I even met the Mayans? Oh, yeah, I met the Mayans. Come meet the Mayans. <coughs> yeah, it shouldn't be too hard. I want to capture all those workers because I'm definitely going to need them. Because the workers are, uh, are because it, 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 it's not well developed these places, you know. So we've got to we've got to work on. Uh, I don't know why I haven't built a road here yet. Maybe I was scared about the lack of security. Could be. Not sure. Let's see. Get them. Where's this at? Aha. Okay. Hardly worth the flight, but uh, we'll do it anyway. All right. Oh, we can get bombers up there. Jeez, what's wrong with me? I don't know why I've been sending bombers forward uh, to take care of our Persian problem. Oh, I have. Well, okay. So forget what I just said. All right. Well, we need to get moving anyway. I'm gonna have you para drop up to that hill. It's okay. Do we have anybody else para drop that turn? Oh yeah, look at that. To the same place? Cool. Wow. It's pretty nice. Um that's it. That's all we got to really work with there. So let's take care of their uh, defenses. Yeah. <clears throat> Still not enough to take care of all their defenses. But yeah, I need to get more paratroopers up to the front, pretty much. Uh, because uh, especially with the enemy being so out teched I'll be able to uh, just drop in and let my bombers do the artillery work for me, you know? Which is a great way to go about it. Is that it? Oh, they had a settler there too. All right, we'll keep that one, even though it's probably not all that great. At least it'll give me something uh, 
a little bit more, there's a word for it, not creative, but constructive to do, I suppose, and just go and kill everything in sight. You know, because I'll have to try to take these, uh, or settle these, settle this continent here. And I do appreciate you working on that coal mine. Is that a coal mine? Oh, that is, that's our guy. <laughs> that's so funny. You like that? Trying to seize the guy who's mine. Dipshit, huh? Oh, well. All right, well, that's good. Um, so I feel like we should take all this arty and just move it down here so that it could be picked up. Since that's all for North America, we're done. Great. And the Aztecs really have only that one city up in, um, up in the one place, the other place. All right, do we seize anything this turn? I'm not talking about the, are we about to seize anything? Maybe. Our bombers already flew. It's too bad. I will go get them next turn. That's too bad. I'd rather move out right now, but uh, we can't quite do that yet. And we'll have them move up. They'll, they'll eventually split out and uh, take down these two towns, which I'll probably destroy to create the cultural buffer zone. Tarsus I might take, though. Tarsus seems all right. Maybe, maybe not. I uh, know we don't need any troops right there. I don't know what the hell I'm thinking. Aha! There we go. We need all the paratroopers we can get up front. And this guy, yeah, sure, build them, build them that. Man, we got so many great generals right now. We don't even know what to do with all of them. You know, it's just, it's, uh, it's kind of silly at this point. The number of great generals we have. Where the, uh, oh, I already dropped somebody in there, that's too bad. And, uh, we'll drop them down here. Yeah, my economy tank is so hard. Whoa, really? That's enough to make the economy tank even harder? Just that one city, huh? Wow. Okay. Well, whatever. Um, we got uranium there. In case one build nukes, yeah, we're so we're such war mongers. We might as well build nukes, you know. I mean, there's nothing we're really doing that would uh, suggest that we wouldn't build nukes, right? Because um, that would, although really, I, I don't want to do that. I never build nukes in this game because they're not. Uh, I don't know. I actually I don't know if I've ever used nukes in this game. To be honest, or if I remember, oh, dirty pool, dirty pool. Yeah, right. It would be a flight for Divine Right. I've gone this long without Divine Right. I think I'm, I think I'm all right, man. Now, we got to build that to make sure nobody else gets their... Uh, and we'll build Hollywood, too. We could use the... And we'll build that one. UN. I don't know how it's recommended for growth. Let's see where the growth principle comes in there. But, uh, okay, cool. You build bombers. You got anything else you could build here? Should be able to get... Um, broadcast towers in every town soon due to uh, our awesome uh, what's the word for it due to the Eiffel Tower because I think now we are actually ahead on attack I haven't checked in a long time because I've been talking to people because eh, who wants to talk to people you know what I mean who needs the aggravation uh, whoa only 34% against this guy pretty pretty sharp unit right there. He's got the anti, uh, one guy, uh, anti, uh, gunpowder unit upgrade, which is pretty sweet. English and the French are fighting for whatever reason. I'm sure whatever it is, it's stupid. All right, you guys can move in and relax. Great job. And now we got a bomber, so absolutely wonderful. Bomber right here can cover that town. Yeah. We can make sure that we don't have to deal with any defenses really when we go on in. Who's covering what? Or what is this territory? Ink and tear. Okay, so the ink is. Okay, that's good. That's real good. 
probably don't need to much worry about probably don't need to worry too much about the uh, flight coverage against the Incas because we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have our uh, air cover or no we're gonna have our artillery with us so that'll be good all right Arsis a fairly good location Is there any food resources they got the Maori statue this I might I might just name it anyway because I really don't need any more towns and these these will expand further to let me make use of that oil. Ah, except that happens, which is, you know, more or less pretty annoying. But uh, we were able to take over that town on the cheap, that's for sure. Right. Well, if we're gonna get attacked, we would best make sure this guy is all fuzzled up so that he doesn't, uh, go down easy. Well, hopefully it doesn't go down at all. Alright. We can actually drop people down. But yeah, that's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at how many, how many uh, airdrops can we actually do, you know, because that, that makes everything a lot easier. Alright. Oh, cool. Alright. That's great. You can just get the hell out of there. And I can just leave the artillery guarding it. I remember in Civ 3 how the artillery was like, it couldn't defend itself. It was just basically a... Uh, What's the word for it? It was it was like a worker. Uh, although the computer never takes your workers prisoners, they just kill them all the time. Very nasty if you think about it. But uh, or even if you don't think about it, killing POWs is it's pretty nasty. It's a war crime. It's a war crime. Uh, it's what it is. But uh, in any case, what I what I mean to say with all that, oh, somebody else is now, or somebody's finally using steel. Uh, ships there. Somebody's made the great leap while I'm still using the wooden wooden hold ships. Uh, but yeah, the computer just uh, usually takes them out. But uh, anyway, in the other game, that's how it worked. I thought it was pretty. I thought it was pretty neat that you could capture workers, but you could also capture artillery pieces. So you had to treat artillery uh, pieces like they were things, like they weren't exactly uh, like uh, actual units and dudes, you know. And they can only like bombard the city to soften up things. Yeah, I thought that was a pretty good system, but they, whatever reason they did, they changed that. So I guess it's okay. It's not a big deal. Man, I need to get somebody in there and build some railroads for Pete's sake. That's Washington D.C. That might be where I stick my uh, my uh, palace there, my forbidden palace, or maybe towards the center. That would really help us since I've got so many far-flung cities right now. All right, cool. All right, let's clean them up. Mop them. Wait, did I fly my, uh... yeah, I did, good. There we go. And one more. See, I wouldn't want to be here. Great. So that's a fairly nice city. I'm surprised they got, and look, there's another uh, uh, copper or another resource with a frickin' uh, thing on top of it, with a fort on top of it for God knows what reason. Uh, but yeah, we're really cooking with gas now, as my father's fond of saying. Was fine. I don't know, I haven't heard him say it for a while. He's not dead or anything. Uh, let's see. Okay, so Gordium here, that's fairly useless. I'm just gonna torch it my opinion anyway. That's probably gonna bring out some some of the rebels or whatever. Kind of lame, but uh, we'll deal with it. These guys do most of the work here because the other guys probably have to deal with the rebels. Yeah, there we go. I wonder where the capital is now, actually, to be honest with you. I don't actually know where they stuck their capital. I guess it really doesn't matter. Whatever it is, it's going to get taken over very quick. Oh, look at oh, there's Medina, which uh, apparently they took over from the, uh, the uh, Persians. All right. Cool. Um... So 
yeah, I need to railroad this place up. That's pretty important. Right, build an oil well too over there. And uh, yeah. move into Dariush Kabir. Sure, we can. Yeah. So let's see if we can just hold here, and we'll do some uh, do some para drops. I think that should really put us in really good shape. Yeah, all right, cool. There's a way to speed this whole darn thing up because obviously we all know what's happening here, but we don't want to take for frickin' ever, right? Farm was destroyed by enemy infiltrators. No telling where that's at. Oh, oh yeah, I never did anything about him. Whoops. That was, a, that was a hell of an oversight, wasn't it? It's the kind of thing that would end your career if you were the commander of that particular military unit, now wouldn't it? Okay, these guys are PO'd, so let's try to make them happy. Lahore's not the greatest town anyway, I suppose. Uh, I should, okay, I can deal with your goofy ships sailing on my shores. Hopefully. Whoa. Lousy Persian cavalry. Marauding all over the place. Yeah. Well, that's what happens, right? And I could probably take Najran pretty quickly here, provided I can, yeah, basically just use my bombers from a distance and get my paratroopers up there. So pretty neat. These both these towns I'm gonna toast. Uh, I think that's probably the best move for us. Ah, he can't get up. Ah. He just reach it here, fine. Mm, I don't want to leave him alone, just in case he, he gets uh, seriously damaged. It'll be bad, 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 uh, bad times. Alright. Thanks for destroying my farm, you jerk, and taking my poor, uh, what's-his-face away. My wonderful worker, who's doing such a great job up there. And unfortunately, I'm such a crappy boss that I did not was not cognizant of what was going on, or I forgot about the situation. That's even worse, I guess. It's one thing to not know what the heck's going on. It's another thing to be like, you know, whoops. I, I knew about it, and then I forgot about it. All right. But cool, and he gets to move again, which is kind of nice, isn't it? It's really nice. Um... Drop you over there. Yeah, pretty sweet, huh? It's got 14 people, huh? That's not a bad town, I guess. I mean, I don't like it that much. I uh, prefer Persepolis here, so I might just I might just strike this one as well. But uh, then a road will pretty much be open to. Uh, Be open to make it over there now. Okay, who else we got? Man, this is this is way too cool. I shouldn't be allowed to do stuff like this. This is just uh, the the paradropping skill. Wow. I've never seen the computer. I don't think the computer's ever done that to me. Uh, which maybe is another one because you know they're terrible at amphibious attacks or they they don't really do them. I meant Zip 3, they were good enough at them. Can I just drop on this guy? No, it has to be. If they have a clear LZ, baby. That's okay. There you go. And I guess maybe they can get hurt if there's air defenses, but they don't have any air defenses yet. So. So, buttons. Yeah, just keep moving, boys. 
although I probably could have picked a better square to move to, especially if I go after uh, uh, Ergili down there, which wasn't totally what I wasn't gonna wasn't totally what I wasn't gonna do. I was planning on was it planning on that maybe. Everybody, let's see, where can we, can we come in surprising? Not really. All right, just get in there, dude. Get to the front, please. That's okay, we'll guard it with artillery. It's not a big deal. Everybody does this, right? Everybody's doing it. And then he, that's fine, because he can move after he drops. It's cool. It's like a road move, which is pretty sweet. All right, we're at 20 minutes again. So uh, next video, hopefully we'll finish our work with the Aztecs and then finish cleaning up the Persians. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.